Well, boys, we are talking about America today, man. Well, let me tell you something, brother! The land where freedom really reflects in everyday life. Or let me take back that statement. Where quote-unquote freedom reflects in everyday life. And also where you can find a ton of homeless people everywhere if you want to, for some reason, I guess. Now, as a regular guy from the Balkans, let me just explain to you some of the reasons why America sends shivers down my spine every time I think of them. And uh, to be completely honest, let me just start by saying that when I was a young child, I always wanted to visit America. Just because of all the crazy shit you guys do over there, and also because of all the superheroes like Spider-Man and uh, New York and all that shit. But as soon as I started to go to middle school, I realized that uh, America is just one big joke of a country. And here in the Balkans, trust me, we make fun out of you guys a lot of times, man. And don't be offended by it. It's not to brag or boost our ego or anything like this. It's more to ease the pain of living in this shithole that is the Balkans. Uh, but yeah, I know majority of Americans are probably normal working citizens like you and me here in the Balkans and are trying to survive from month to month. And I'm not going to talk about them, of course, because they are cool. I am going to talk about, you know, the chosen ones. I'll just give you a couple of reasons uh, why I don't want to visit the US or the reasons that put me off from buying that plane ticket in the first place. To be completely honest guys, I don't even have the money for the plane ticket and just to start off, you and your fucking crazy gun laws man. Like for my primitive bulk in mind, decreasing gun regulations after each school call of duty you guys have over there, it's just mind blowing man, like it doesn't make sense. Like, do you guys really want your kids walking through metal detectors every fucking morning just because you want some quote unquote freedom, if you can even call it that? Like, I understand that you have some crazy people roaming around America, and you probably need guns to protect yourself, but still, man, I don't want to visit America just to end up on a live police helicopter chase, being shot from a speeding car and catching a straight bullet to a face, man, and knowing my Balkan luck, it would probably happen to me. Like, it's just bad luck being born in the Balkans, man. Uh, the next thing is prison systems, and let me just explain it to simple as possible to you Americans. Now imagine young me, and I am in school, and I have one very weird schoolmate, like he is very quiet, doesn't really have good grades, and has problems with teachers, uh, and let's call him Samir in this case. Now one day in school I asked Samir to borrow a pen from him, because I forgot mine at home, and he actually gives it to me. And uh, of course I use it all day, and uh, at the end of the day I accidentally forgot to return it to him. Uh, now, five years later, I am 18 years old, and I see Samir on the news because he was still in a car. And now Samir is in prison for a couple of years, and you might ask me where the fuck am I going with this story. Well, let me just tell you where am I going. I don't want Samir returning from the fucking prison, being like a fucking wild animal, just because the government didn't do anything about it. Or because police and other prisoners abused him in the prison, you know? And now when he is free and with no money, he remembers from 10 years ago that I didn't give him my pen back. Like, I don't want that to happen, man, you know? Be nice to Samir, and Samir will be nice to you. But still, guys, uh, having so many maniacs running around, it's still not as bad as paying 5k for a fucking trip to a hospital. Like, I know your country is based on some capitalistic, like, Dubre uh, Usrano idea. But this still doesn't explain how many people are in debt just for fucking medical bills alone in America, man. Now, if I continue, I'm not really going to continue with your insurances because that's an abomination of a thing for its own video. Paying $400 to receive jack shit, it's boom for my brain, you know? 
but I'm just a primitive Balkan guy with small brains, so what would I know, right? <laughs> now, don't get me started on your politics, man. Especially liberal movement, or whatever you call that abomination of a thing. Now, what bothers me is social justice warriors and people that push their beliefs to other people and bothering them with it. Now, that bothers me, man. Because the alternative is a fascist! Like, let me give you a quick example, man. There is nothing worse than waking up hungover, trying to find a good cup of kafitsa in the morning, just to wake you up a bit, and seeing in the distance, like, a dog-like creature just barking at you. And there is a bunch of them in costumes pretending to be dogs, man. Like, in that instance, my Balkan mind is not thinking of some nice things. Trust me, I know. Now if I move on, the influencers deserve their own place in hell, like the things some of you Americans do. Just for some minor attention is actually insane. Uh, and in most cases I actually just pray and hope that uh, the videos are fake and staged. But the more you watch, uh, the more you realize that they are real and people are actually that stupid over there. It's actually very sad, you know. Now, if we jump to conclusion at the end of the video, America isn't that bad, you know. It's not that bad. But I would want to visit one day, of course, just to sink Sinan Sakic down the road. Uh, and actually to try those pancakes from the gas stations you see in the movies. But yeah, anyways, stay safe, stay educated. And until next time, boys. You're the security guard on the building, aren't you?